some people are sending a message to President Biden this year by voting uncommitted. CBS News Detroit's Gino Vici is on your block in Dearborn with how this protest vote could impact the general election. This vote uncommitted campaign is several months in the making. And again, the goal is to put pressure on the current president, Joe Biden, to change course on Gaza and call for a ceasefire. Some people I spoke with today say for them, it's too late. The damage is done. Others I spoke with say they are going to vote uncommitted in hopes that Joe Biden has a change of heart. It's the presidential primary election day yeah. here in the state of Michigan yeah. and the city of Dearborn is getting national attention for a campaign called Vote Uncommitted. I'm just, I'm so inspired by this movement that we're, we're having. Lexi Zidane, one of the organizers of the movement, says the reason for voting uncommitted is simple, to quantify the number of votes that Joe Biden could potentially lose in the 2024 election if he does not call for a ceasefire in Gaza. I think what this movement shows, and it's picked up on a global level, what this movement shows is that for any, it really puts Biden, his administration, Congress, and any future elected official on notice that Michigan truly is a anti-war, pro-peace, pro-Palestinian state, and we're always going to advocate on the side of human life. And if you're an elected official that is not aligned with those values, then Michigan truly is not the place for you. For, seeing, for me, seeing kids are dying every single day, it breaks my heart. Hassan Balhas, one voter who decided to vote uncommitted here at McDonald Elementary today, says he's holding out hope that President Biden calls for a ceasefire. Then and only then would he consider voting to reelect him. We need to stop this ASAP. If you vote for ending the tempers still... flared for a moment today when a Biden supporter voiced his concern that the uncommitted vote could put Trump back in office, and he warned uncommitted voters they're playing with fire in this election. And you can they, swing you, Michigan you know what, to Trump. You know what? And that'd be and great. That'd be great. Of course, that voter was being sarcastic. Mayor Abdullah Hamoud addressed the media saying he too does not want Donald Trump to be the next president. However, he says his community is not left with a better option, considering the death and destruction that has occurred in Gaza under Biden's watch. We're using this opportunity as a means of sending a message. Another person I spoke with off camera says it's unfortunate and devastating what's happening in Gaza, but this election has far more issues at stake for them, so they're voting for Biden. Meanwhile, Balha says ultimately he's disappointed with both of the options in this upcoming presidential election. I'm done with the Democrat or Republican, so I don't want to deal with nobody because everybody's the same. In Dearborn, Gino Vici, CBS News, Detroit.